my favorite. Cool. So uh, welcome to the chapter communications webinar. I'm Brooke Stiles, Manager of Communications and Collegiate Operations in the National Office. And I have the great honor to introduce our speaker for the session, Ms. Ellen O'Neill. Ellen serves as a social media and fellowship specialist for the National Office. She is absolutely slaying the game on all mortar board social media channels of which you should follow. She is a graduate from the Rochester Institute of Technology, where she majored in photojournalism. So thanks so much, Ellen. Sure, let's see if I can share this correctly because Zoom can be kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, let me grab this. And you're looking, okay, can you see that? <laughs> yes. Okay, awesome. All right, so hi, welcome to the Chapter Communications webinar. Um, here I'm gonna be talking about presenting your chapter on campus and nationally. All right, so Brooke kind of gave me a little intro, but um, I'll expand a little bit more. So I'm the social media specialist and fellowship specialist here at the national office. Um, I've worked at Mortarboard for just over a year. Um, in 2019, I interned at CNN in Atlanta, working at their photography desk. Um, I really enjoy books. So I'm always reading a book, happy to talk books, open to suggestion about books. Um, I'm currently reading the Harry Potter season a uh, series for the first time, which is shocking for people, but I've really been enjoying it. Um, I'm binge watching wise. I just finished the show called Only Murders in the Building on Hulu. It's a murder mystery show that has Selena Gomez and it's really good. Um, and then I'm currently watching the new season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which they've just completely redone it and it's awesome. Um, always feel free to email me. Um, if you have any questions about anything in this PowerPoint or just talking books, I'm always open to that. And stop me at any point if you have any questions or comments. Um, really trying to make this pretty informal. <laughs> All right. So some responsibilities for the communications position. Um, obviously, your main job is to communicate what's happening within the chapter and um, engaging the members so that everyone's connected and knows what's up. Um, knowing your campus community and, um, and the media on campus and other organizations that are on campus, um, keeping track of activities and deadlines and resources for your members so that everyone knows when things are due and how, where their position stands within the chapter. Um, maintaining an optional website and social media. Um, I'll go more into the websites a little bit later, but yeah, keeping something going on social media just so that other chapters nationally can see what you guys are up to. Um, and then ensuring your chapter branding is accurate. We recently rebranded, so we have a brand new mortarboard logo and some different colors and fonts and stuff. So just making sure that that's all up to date. And then um, also that falls underneath your role is submitting photos or stories or um, even bringing to us ideas, um, anything for the, um, the magazine, the forum. So we'd love to be able to highlight our chapters within the forum. So if you have an idea or a write-up that you want to propose, totally send it our way. And then um, also really important is preparing resources and all of your passwords and et cetera for the person that comes after you so that they can keep going on the stuff that you've already built. All right, so that sounds like a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully that didn't overwhelm you. Um, so my, let's make a plan. So it doesn't have to be super formal, even can just be like some bullet points and points in a notepad, but it always helps to brainstorm what you want to do in your role. So like, what are you hoping to do this year? Who's your audience? Is it your collegiate members? Is it um, your campus community? Maybe parents of prospective, um, prospective members. Um, so like, how are you going to do the thing? Is always what I say. Um, so if you have this good idea, but you don't really know how to do it, maybe thinking that through would help you out a little bit further down the line. Um, and then kind of defining what makes something successful in your eyes. So then you can tell if um, one of the events that you planned or something worked out in the way that you had hoped. And then do you need help from others? Reaching out to people um, either within your chapter or people on campus or even your advisor to see if they can um, help you with 
planning things or even just executing what you want to do. And then do you, how do your goals align with the chapter's goals? Um, overall, chapters usually have a plan on what they want to uh, do each year. So how would your communication plan line up with that? Like, are you promoting an event that, that your chapter holds or um, just keeping people in the loop? Really just kind of depends. All right. So then after you make this great plan, make sure to communicate it. Sometimes I know that I always come up with all these plans and stuff in my head, but then I don't communicate to people and then things don't work out the way I think it does. So just getting everyone on the same page is super helpful. Um, so then if you communicate your plan, then you can get uh, support from your chapter and you can then you are able to support that, your chapter and the rest of your board on their plans and goals for the year. All right, so another option that you have, if you, if you need, think you need it, is a communications committee. So there's a lot to communicate, like all the deadlines and the events and the um, maybe fundraisers that your chapter's hosting. Um, so don't be afraid to get some help because it's all a lot, if, especially if you have a website and social media. Um, so, you know, talk to your e-board on making a, a committee. It doesn't have to be like 10 people. It could be like you and another person, but just someone else to bounce ideas off of. Maybe they know more about um, like public relations stuff than you do, or they're really good at graphic design, then you can totally use their skills to help um, make your information and content really fun and interesting. So then, like I said, you can split up the responsibilities and then you can also bounce ideas off of your fellow members. All right, so methods of communication. So social media, obviously, that's like a huge thing for us. Um, we we're mainly on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Um, another method of communication could be testimonials from members. So you can use those testimonials or like a little bio and a social media highlight. A lot of our chapters do that, and those are really fun. Um, you make announcements at campus events or in the form of like posters around campus. So if you are doing like um, a lot of chapters do like a reading is leading book drive. So that would fall kind of underneath your wing there. So you can make posters and maybe post something on like a forum for your campus, but just getting it out there. Um, again, if you wanted to make a website, um, you would be in charge of that to inform your members and advise your chapter on the type of activities going on, like a calendar type of thing. Um, sometimes campuses have communication channels um, that are like kind of behind the school wall um, that only students at your campus can see. So posting on there about stuff happening. Um, and then also, like I said earlier, sending articles into the national office for our forum publication. Um, a lot of our alumni and current members love seeing what's happening at their, um, at their campuses. So it's always great to see and hear from people that are there now. And then um, emails or text messages or GroupMe or whatever you guys use um, to talk to your members about the different events happening. All right, so these are some examples of some member highlights that I found um, mainly on Instagram. Everyone's very active on Instagram, so I keep my eye on that at all times. Um, so like these ones include a small bio, like this one is like a happy Monday. A lot of people do like a mortarboard Monday type of thing and they highlight um, their members. Some of them put quotes on like what, why, why, what their favorite part of mortarboard is or um, their, yeah, their favorite part about campus or something along those lines. And then always be sure to tag the person in the picture and their campus organizations if they're part of Greek life, um, if they're a part of like res life or something like that. And then always tag mortarboard because I'm the one keeping an eye on all of our social media and I love seeing all your posts and your pictures. It's really cool to just see how much you guys are doing on campus. Okay. So this is kind of a general resource page that I made um, with some programs and tools and online services that you guys can use um, 
to communicate with your chapter and make things look pretty for any emails or social media stuff. So all of the ones I've listed here are free, which is always awesome. Um, like I use this, this program called Canva. It's online, it's free. You can make social media posts. You can do um, any type of graphic designs type of stuff. Um, seriously, anything. You can make posters. Like I made this PowerPoint on Canva. It's great. Um, and then MailChimp, you can do your mass communication emails through that. There's some project management tools in here like Asana and Trello. Um, here at the national office, we use this uh, program called Publer, which then lets us schedule our social media posts and kind of lay it out for the month. Um, like this, like Wix uses, um, is where, where you can use, what you can use to design your website, if you choose to do a website. And then of course the Mortarboard uh, resource page has a bunch of resources for you, including our logo and our branding and et cetera, that then you can use within all of your marketing and communication type of uh, materials. So there's many more resources out there, but this is just a good start if you wanted to you know, dip your toe in and take a look at it, um, especially since they're free. All right, so um, I mentioned that the Mortarboard website has some great resources available. So under the resources tab at the top, um, and then under the promotional and event materials tab, it has all of our brochures, it has a logo, our new logo and the branding guide, um, some of the songs that we sing at national conference, um, and a lot, a lot of other resources available for you to use. And then of course you can always reach out and um, we can help you with anything that you need. All right, so coming back to the chapter websites that I kind of mentioned earlier, it's totally optional. Um, they're kind of fun because it's a great way to, to display and advertise your chapter. Um, both on campus and nationally in the honor societies, and we can all take a look at it and link it back to you. Um, I like to call it a one-stop shop for your current members and potential members that might come and join your chapter in the future. And then, of course, parents. You want you want to advertise your chapter to parents, and then hopefully, um, they can convince their students to come and join your chapter if they if they come to your campus. So. With that in mind, your chapter might already have a website. I know a lot of schools have made websites in the past. They might not be up to date, but you know, just seeing if it's out there and um, like what the URL is. And if you make your own, then you know how to change it up a little bit. Um, so make sure you Google search. They're usually pretty easy to find. Um, if not, you can always reach out to the office and we have a list um, of some of some websites, some might be outdated, like I said, but it'll at least give you an idea. Um, and so some universities actually offer like free websites from their for their campus uh, organizations and clubs. So, or you can create your own. Um, so it's really up to you. It's worth looking into. Um, you can try, you can try it and then not like it, you know, whatever you feel like doing. Um, but if you do make one, just make sure that you try to maintain it, maintain it fairly regularly. So um, just make sure like five years ago's fundraiser for something isn't still up now. <laughs> so if you do decide to make a chapter website, you want to make it fun and engaging. It doesn't have to be super intense with like 15 million tabs. Um, but, you know, just like little updates. It could even be like a blog if you wanted. Um, anything like that. We were talking earlier in a meeting that a lot of chapters are actually moving more to like a Facebook page. Um, it's a lot easier to update and maintain and then you can share it just completely a different way to do it than websites. All right, so here's some examples of some websites. Um, the one on the left for the Red Tassel chapter is Illinois State. They created theirs on Wix, which is that free platform that I mentioned earlier. Um, Kansas State, they, they use a, um, a platform hosted by their university. So 
you know, it just kind of has a template and then you can drop in your information and your pictures. Um, they're pretty easy. Or you could use some something like WordPress. Um, the Ohio State University uses WordPress and it's just a completely different way of making a website. Um, I know WordPress can sometimes go really deep. Like there's a lot of different tabs and um, settings that you can use, but you don't have to make it super fancy. All right, so another part of your role is making sure that the transition to the next person after you is really smooth or as smooth as you can make it. Um, so you can collect any like posters or um, passwords or email lists or really any resources that you use this year into like a Google document or like if you wanna make a physical binder, you can do that. Or you could throw it on a flash drive, whatever's easiest for you. So you wanna add within that collection, um, like what, what your communication plan was. Um, when I said, let's make a plan, what do you wanna do this year? Pretty much just outline um, what your goals were and, you know, maybe how it went even. Um, if you created graphics or posters, it'd be great to add those within the little collection so that people can see, the person after you can see what you did. Um, and then if you end up having a committee, you know, writing out what their responsibilities were, if you had like a graphics person under your communications committee, or like a photographer, I guess, if you really, if you had someone who's really in, into taking pictures at your events and activities. Um, any notes that you took, would be great to add in there, any passwords. Um, so if you make a website, like a WordPress website or a Wix website, you would need like login information to get in there so the next person can update all of the content on there. Um, you know, like uh, Instagram, Facebook, just to make it easier for the next person. Um, and then maybe like a little personal evaluation, like how did the events or goals that you planned, how did those go? Um, what would you do differently? Um, or like just any advice really that, that you think would be helpful for the next person so that they can do, they can take what you've built and keep going with it. Okay, I zipped through that. <laughs> um, are there any questions? You can always um, email me and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep going a little bit. All right, so social media is such a big thing right now. Um, and I've been really focused on growing our social media, so make sure you follow us. Um, if you're just getting started with any of these platforms, um, you can always reach out to me. Um, I have a big long list of like all those chapters and their schools and their social media handles. So I can totally forward that on to you. Um, so then you can start your own following and they are most likely follow you back. Mortarboard members are awesome because they're really on top of, um, you know, supporting each other and looking at everyone's social. Um, if your chapter already has social media, um, you can always send it to me or drop it in the chat, whatever works for you. But these are the main platforms that here at the national office that we use. All right, so wrapping up, uh, these were a few more of the webinars that are being offered this week. Um, we have maintaining chapter history, financial stability, alumni relations, and membership selection. And then I believe that at some point, all of these webinars will be recorded and available to you. So you can forward them on to whoever needs to see them or watch them yourself. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Um, is there anything, anything I can answer, any questions I can answer or any suggestions? <laughs> Or not, that's cool too. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Ellen. I appreciate it. And thanks, Cassidy, for being here. Um, again, this was this entire thing's been recorded, so feel free to share it with your chapter. Uh, but also this will be up on our YouTube channel so you can see it too if you forget about anything. Um, but thanks so much for being here and we'll catch you out the next time.
All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you, Ellen. I learned a lot. I was taking notes throughout the whole thing. So thank you for this. Yeah, of course. Thanks for coming. Of course. Alrighty. I'll see everyone. Thanks. Bye. Bye.